Hello and welcome to the Illuminated Archetype. Today, Bella and I are going to be looking at some charts that we gathered from Facebook and looking at the 25th archetype within those charts and how it is showing up within those energetic blueprints. So Bella is going to be pulling up some charts and we're just going to dive right in. And the cool thing is that we were asking people, do you have Jinky 25 in your activation sequence? So that means that people that have posted have also have the 46 because the programming partners are always part. That's the activation sequence, like the two pairs of programming partners. So there are probably going to be a lot of similarities in the activation sequence of those, those charts. And we are going to be able to look at some differences depending on what lines you have these in. So that's how I felt when I did it with 36, how interesting that was. So let's just, let's start. And the 25 is the archetype of love. And the, four, and the 46 is the archetype of the body. And so we're going to be. Yeah. This is small, but I think. Oh, but here, where do we have the 25 here? I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they just posted their chart. <laughs> they just posted their chart. Oh, you know yeah. what? They have the life's work of the 43. So I'm pretty sure they just didn't hear the question. <laughs> <laughs> and the programming partner in the pearl, it's there. <laughs> yeah. They were drawn. They were drawn to it. They're like, I want to comment here. <laughs> okay. So we have here, we have, the, we have the cross of the vessel of love, right? That's the 46, the 25, the 15, and the 10. So the cross of the vessel of love, it's the love of the body, the love of spirit, the love of humanity, and the love of self. So grounded in the love of self. And, and the challenge here is that 25. So I, I, I can think that that is that constriction. And maybe when you feel like, when you don't feel what's in it for us together, you may, as a first line, you might have this feeling of isolating yourself and that it's not worth doing it with others and you instead you pull away and you constrict. And that's then it's not going to make you be able to feel that love of humanity, that core stability, that true grounding. And it also is going to rob you of some of the experiences and interactions that you would have in your third line if you were if you were more into the love and the openness of, of those two of those two jinkies and seriousness and constriction. It would be maybe you becoming empowered in the world, but based on seriousness and constriction instead of based on of that more the delight and the acceptance and the, the open breath of the first line and of the 25 and the 46 in the first line and knowing that we are in it together and what's in it for me it also means what's in it for you that's kind of what i would say for that uh one three profile in this in this activation sequence what what do you what do you see ashley i i'm i'm feeling into it and i know some some people who have the cross of the vessel of love who are very connected um spiritually and energetically but um, we see how you can totally disconnect from the body. So the not self would be the seriousness, but also disconnection from the body. And I see the 29 in your core and your IQ. And so if that devotion is not there, it's like, let's just separate from there. And then the heart closes off, you know, and it's no longer, you're no longer able to access. I feel like with the 46 and the 25, the spirit lives in the body. And so if you are disassociating from the spirit or disassociating from the body, you're only half-hearted anyways, you know? So you have to combine them and pull them together. And that's what gives you access to the love of yourself and the love of humanity. If you're not having that, then how can you love yourself? If you don't love your body, how could you love yourself? You can't just pick and choose. I only love this part of me. It's more, it's more than just your body or your soul or spirituality or anything, you know? Yeah. And what do you feel about the 
two, the two in the SQ. I was just saying that, you know, I see that too and I see all those second line on the inside. So for, so part of you for balancing that kind of fiery energy, maybe you could say that you're having the third line and the first line that is a bit more masculine. You have all this, you have the two, two in the middle that is the sacral, there's the feminine, there's a trust of, of the flow of, of the intuition. So, and, I, and also a lot of second lines of your sexuality has to do with passion, has to do with flow, has to do with merging. So to have that juiciness on the inside, which can help help to, to if there is some, some seriousness or constriction on the outside, to come back into that flow. The, I would say that the two, two is the body, you know, it's the form. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's, the, it's that, that um, prime yin that, that is connected with that 46, I feel as well. So that's a powerful point to come back to, I feel, in, in that SQ and to find the flow, find the sacral, feel, feel that um, groundedness in the physical and in the prime yin. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like about, I feel like saying something about <clears throat> the shame in, in 10.3 with shame and the shame of yourself or, or, or rejecting or yeah, rejecting yourself because of the second line core wound is rejecting. And if you reject, like I said, I feel like I'm just saying the same thing I said before, but it feels like it's, this is it. You can't pick and choose what you love about yourself. You have to love all of it and you have to pull in all of it. Like having that unity in your heart, the feminine wants to embrace and pull in everything. It wants the unity of the mind, the body, the soul. And so you have to be devoted to that unity. And that's what's going to open you up to that magnetism, that expansiveness, the, um, the, the love of humanity. You're not going to be able to love anyone if you don't love yourself. And you're not going to also be able to receive love if you don't love yourself. It's so funny because this chart is like saying, love everything, trust everything, and devote yourself fully. It's like, you know, it's, it's very interesting, but that being powered in that, you know? <laughs> yes. Great chart, Leslie. Mm -hmm. And I feel what we also can say, here I tried to post, hee <laughs> hee. But I knew I wasn't going to be able to. <laughs> in there. <laughs> Bella's, Bella is banned from Facebook, wants to censor her. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> so uh, we were saying about, we were just looking at the transits. And we were saying that the nodes are, are in 10 and 15 now. So I feel like if you have the cross of the vessel of love, you know, right now we have the nodes going in, in 10.6 and, and 15.6. So it's going to shine, like it's going to activate, you could say, your, those activations in you. And maybe that can really make you feel like you understand them so much better. But it could also in the beginning be kind of, a, you know, you're not, you, you like it could also be thrown into the shadow, but just, just knowing because it's, it is your, it's probably going to be also your environment that's going to trigger this. And you can see now what we were saying also in our live right before that either dullness or extremes, when we are confined at home, like these things are coming up. So there is an activation from, from, activation from the outside that can make the patterns of the 15 and the 10 more extreme right now. And I mean, the first thing that I see, or maybe you start with this chart, Ashley, I would love to hear from I start you. with this chart. Um, I was just feeling into the extremes and stuff that has come up for me, um, observing my, my own extremes. And so like the all or nothing, you know, that's the, I mean, where do you find yourself in the extremes? And you can also see emotional extremes. Like you could be okay one minute and then you're like, I'm melancholy. I'm depressed. Like just be with whatever it is, whatever's flowing out of you and, and, and accept that because that's that, I mean, that fourth line is, it needs that like accept yourself you know accept the dullness accept the shiny sparkleness accept the glitter the excitement the I mean I feel like with the 15 it's like the searcher of magic like I want to experience magic I want to experience just you know and you got to be okay with 
the monotony of life somehow because you can find magnetism and excitement in that as well and slowing down i know i know somebody who has the 15 this the 15 and 10 in the life's work and evolution and with the 15 i have it my son has it it's very nervous system-y like like so much energy so much energy anyone that has this you just are like buzzing all the time and you just have to find a way to get that flowing get that out with it being the the fourth line i feel like community is huge for you and so what's happening for you now that you're kind of have that wall up between you and community how is that affecting you and how can you i don't know find find something that's going to light you up here and and give you what you what you are desiring, you know? That's kind of what I'm seeing with the 15 and the 14. Right, and so interesting to see that the IQ and the attraction is also 10 and 15. Oh. So there is like a weaving on the inside that is reflecting what's on the outside and, and to see that that probably can come up in relationships as well. So there is something that is you, but you're here to also mirror the same things in, in relationship and attracting that to you. I also see something, this is the crust of the vessel of love and it's a four six. So just that for me, it's a lot about love. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a lot about love. And then I see the core wound or the vocation being a fourth line and the SQ being a first line. So I see even that imprinting, that needing of, you know, that need of, of love on the inside, gentleness, love, softness, softness, certainty, the, the, the child on the inside that needs, you know, doubt and certainty, like, you know, the, the, the key and the, and the line. So for, for you to feel safe in the world, you want to give yourself that certainty, that rhythm, that truth for you. That's when, when everything else can bloom out. It's almost like I see you start in that SQ with giving yourself the certainty, the safety, that like, you know, feeling the, the kitten that can feel the mother's, the, the mother's, you know, heartbeat. That's what you want to give your inner child, you know, or if you didn't get that as a child, you want to give yourself now your truth, your, your certainty, make sure that you're gentle with yourself. You don't reject yourself. And then I feel like everything, everything is going to come out and you're going to become that role model of love in the world that, that you are here to be and how somehow it starts from, from the inside in, in this case. And also like you were saying, uh, Ashley, that I feel like the 44, five in the in the EQ also shows that there is a fract you know there there are souls that you're here to to find there are souls that you're here to mirror there are things that are you're here to do with other people that are important in your in your life journey yeah I also want to say that um as children I feel like we are very connected into who we are our naturalness and our gifts and we begin to doubt ourselves as we progress through the seven year cycles. And so what I see is that you came into this world in the rhythm of love, like knowing what love is, knowing, knowing that connection to love and that direction to love, because you have all that definition in your G center and, mm -hmm. and that connection to, to that love. And then you're thrown into doubt, depending on like, am I loved? What is love? Like, is like, do I fit here? Can I be certain that I can share my love with others? Like, and then, and then, you know, it just snowballs with whatever you experienced in your childhood and then going into the realm of emotions and the people that came in, into your life to teach you about emotional competency or not. And now coming back through to kind of re, re remember and return to that innocence of the truth is I am love. Mm -hmm. that's that's the truth i'm love and i feel like everyone with the vessel of love that's what we're here to remember is i'm love let me share that love with you am i safe to share that love with you you know with that certainty of the first line in the sq is it safe for me to share the love with you and that's the essence that you're sharing with the world, like nurturing the world with vitality. But for you, that essence in the world comes from all, all these things starting to light up again and being that person in the world, then you are going to nurture vitality. That's what, that's what you're being does naturally when you come back to, to knowing <laughs> that you're love. So it's beautiful also how that's serving the whole. 
Let's see, I think I'm gonna write down so we can tag Camelia, the people, because I don't think, uh, there was a lot of comments this time. I don't think we're gonna get through all, all of them today, unfortunately. Let's see. Here, I don't know if it's too small. This is an old one. Oh, here we have, so maybe this is the thing to say, what's different? So here we have a one, three again, and we have, I think it's, oh, the other one was grounded, it was flipped, so it was 46 on the life's work, and here it's grounded in magnetism. So here I feel right now there can be things, you know, both trial and error in these times <laughs> where you are going to play with both being bored, the dullness, and maybe going into extremes. But it's important, there's some kind of self-discipline, I feel like when I look up to that nine one, of like finding, you know, what is wholesome for you. When you have this cross, it's easy to get out of maybe balance, but what is, can you be determined on what is wholesome for you? And, and actually uh, respect that because you have a lot of sensitivity. Look at these three nineties yeah, in the no, middle. That's what I saw. I was like, oh. my gosh, the sensitivity here. But again, like I love that the that we have the nineteen and the fifteen because the fifteen is you have crazy crazy energy, like lots of energy to do and to feel that magic. But it's also can you can you find the rhythm of the human resonance? Can you also connect yourself to Gaia because 19 is our archetype is called the Uterian and this one has a deep connection with nature and Gaia and can you connect to that and so I feel like having that it I don't know if you resonate with with all things Gaia but I mean you have a lot of that energy in you especially with the 15 as your purpose sphere it's like can you slow down and feel feel the rhythm of Gaia feel the heartbeat of Gaia feel that that expansion and magnetism that's inherent in nature and that's where you're going to connect into that love is the love of Gaia the love of earth you know mm -hmm. and I feel that there can be some patterns here you know we have victimization we have codependence we have indifference we have rejection if we look inside the chart so it's almost like there are some of those things and I don't know why but I see like I feel like the EQ sphere is important in choosing relationships where where there is like indifference is not a good a good thing like there might be things from the adult adolescence where you remember where you there was no point it's like this hopelessness that were that there was indifference and you couldn't you couldn't as a young as a young child maybe you know you you, you weren't able to to feel that respect and the reverence in the sixth line so i'm wondering even by choosing the relationships where where you have the 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 positive qualities of that 16 where you have the higher frequencies of versatility of being seen of being understood of like seeing the higher picture and somehow i feel like that is what can help both going back to the core wound like the gentleness and not feeling the re rejection anymore and with it with the 19 with that oversensitivity somehow there's something with the eq that just makes me be like okay was there something that happened from the age to eight from eight to 14 that made you maybe go into more sensitivity or maybe go into rejecting yourself or the world or feeling like you were a victim for something. There's something just there because you're one, three, and I don't know, but there's something there that made you go into the 1960s and stay there and have your mind just being objective and not really living your life, maybe thinking or feeling you're too sensitive for this world. And I would love to see you go back to relationships where there's respect, where there is, we care about each other and then coming back into that to the adventure, to the passion, to the flow of the SQ in 19.2. That's the pathway I see you go back to in this, in this chart somehow. Mm -hmm. I just keep feeling, I just keep feeling, um, I don't know what went on, I can't, I, I don't know her personally, but something to do with her mom and the core wound is, I mean, 3.4 and so, was this pregnancy like how was the pregnancy how was the birth how did the mom treat you and because you're so sensitive to that how did you numb out in order not to 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 feel you know because these people are very sensitive and as a child having 19.2 in your sq um whether or not these feelings that other people were feeling are directed at you you're always going to feel like it's my fault they mm -hmm. hate me I don't belong here. Why, why was I born? 
and you know, it's horrible. I don't know. I just, I just can feel the sympathy of like, this, this is like worst case scenario, you know, <laughs> feeling like my mom didn't want me. My dad didn't want me. It's my fault that this happened. Or, you know, these people do want to have those strong bonds with the people that they're with and feeling that rejection in the family is the worst thing to feel like I was born here. You didn't want me, you know? So yeah. I don't know. And Catherine, now you know, you are here to be free and celebrate life. You're 55. Three says that. So if you have a North star, we have been speaking about the nodes a little bit. You know, if you are here to make the nodes that we're activated in right now, you know, sh shine light on that. Your pearl is 55. Three. You're here to celebrate freedom. That is, whatever you need to do, you know, to, to tap into that. Because there's so much love, there's so much sensitivity. There is, there is this like whisper that of wisdom in you in that 19. So there, that's where, there, that's what it wants to whisper to you, I feel like. Mm, yeah. There's so many awesome gifts in the 19. Like very, like it's one of the, the, two, the, the few supernatural ones where you have access to some really cool stuff. So Love it. Oh, looking at her profile. Hello. <laughs> Okay. Where do we have the twenty-five? Where's the twenty-five? Uh, I don't know. It's not <laughs> here. What did she wrote? This is my brother. This is my brother's chart. He's very kind and special being. Oh, it's just they wanted some insight. Maybe, maybe we'll do it when we come to one of those keys, right? Yeah. Mm. And here we don't have the lines, so I think we're not going to do that. We don't have the 25 either. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's important uh, to do it with the lines and to have the 25. <laughs> life's work, 25.2. Okay. okay. Wait, okay. why did they say that their life's work was 25.2? Never mind, 25.4, so 2.4. Oh, culture sphere has 25 as well. Yeah. So do you want to, do you want to start Ashley? Do you, is something popping up? I see that she has the same pearl as your activate, that your attraction sphere. <laughs> That's what's popping up. That's what I was looking at. I'm kind of just feeling into like the geometry and kind of how they maybe weave together. Mm -hmm. 15.2. I have a special place in my heart for two fours too, because my son is a two four and I feel like you guys get called out all the time. <laughs> and she's a vessel of love. 51.6, I mean, I feel like she's here to be quite wild with, with even like adventure, like even with the passion, the freedom in the line too, and and the enrichment and the playfulness and the attraction and the celebration and the third line in the EQ. Like I feel like this is a child that came here to be wild and to be and I, I, I would like to, you know, I would like to hear were you allowed to be wild, were you allowed to be you, or were you called out on it? You know, were you shamed about it? Were you were you not able to be who you were? That's almost what I what I'm feeling, were you allowed to be, or were you constricted from who, who you came to be? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not receiving anything, which is interesting. Like nothing's really popping out for me. I see that the EQ, we have 42.3, and that one can be an interesting one. 
to be around with having expectations of yourself and others and how did that make you feel shame for who you are with your 25.3 in your culture sphere this is your essence this is like who you are so how could that create constriction for you like um Bella was mentioning um and then the IQ is it's it's awesome that it's seven because that's inner inner guidance right but if you are living off of the expectations of other people then it's really hard for you to hear that inner voice within yourself so and being sensitive with the 27.2 being sensitive to what other people need you can self-sacrifice a lot so then you're going to be who people want you to be to deliver what people need and then you're going to be looking to other people um to ask you know, for advice. And then that will just like your relationship acts as a distraction from who you are. And that's why your evolution is 10.2 is because you're here to have that naturalness and, and be free to be free to be yourself. Um, that's what I'm picking up for that. So, um, in moving back through the Venus sequence, that's, what's going to allow you to come into acceptance of who you are and not feel that that shame or that rejection because maybe you were too like Bella said you have the potential to be to be wild because you're wanting to be free you're wanting you're wanting to be boundless you're wanting to have no restrictions and if somebody said hold on these are the walls these are the rules you need to you need to adhere to these and you're like okay well if that's how I'm supposed to be then I shall be that you know having the 13 also makes you really sensitive as well the 13 the 27 just a lot to you know to adhere to with other people coming in the mix they're just going to distract you from the the true purpose is accepting yourself totally and completely and being in in the body naturally yourself yeah yeah, yeah because well, if it's one, huh? oh hello <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, continue, Ashley. I was just going to comment again on the 51. My son has the 51 in his um, core, and agitation can make you freeze. And so if you are sensitive to other people and to their expectations and to what they want or expect from you or need from you, um, because you also have the 13, you're not going to take action or initiative to kind of be that, be that person you're supposed to be the naturalness to come out so that's kind of what i'm seeing there it's going to be hard for you to take initiative so amidst the agitation you feel and the resistance you feel and you're wanting to just meet those expectations or whatever it's you got to push into that you have to take initiative to awaken your true self that's always been there but was repressed or denied i mean yeah I agree with everything you're saying. For me, a qu one, a one question is like, who are you serving? Because that is what I, what I can see with the 7-2 and the, this 13-2 as well. Like, you know, you have this inner guidance, you have this listening and, and who are you, who are you serving with, with the fourth line, the radiance and, and the purpose. And it's almost like when you are a second line, you're here to fulfill yourself first. So if you're serving something else first, then you're probably going to go through life and being in uh, being disappointed because you're not serving yourself first so it's so important for a two four to fulfill <clears throat> yourself first and then the right people are going to be around you and then you are going to be fulfilled through friendship but but you need to fulfill yourself first and i see also coming back to the adventure the passion the wildness and the celebration you have the 51 51 25 in your pearl sequence and this is the channel of the of the shaman this is in the outer world you're here to be powerful you're here to be a priestess a shaman or, or a healer but it's something that has a lot of like is it almost like a shock energy there's a lot of love but it also has this your essence is powerful so for me it's like there is a lot of sensitivity but what you're here to share and live out in this world it is something very magnetic with the 15 very powerful with the 25 with 25 51 and also an incredible listening to what has been and where we're going so there is a very powerful pearl sequence so i would hope that you are going into your venus and doing that work so that you can be this powerhouse that you're naturally here to be mm. I love that you went there. That's awesome. Let's 
So maybe one or two more. What do you say? Uh, what do you feel? Yeah. How, so much is, how many is left in there? Oh, let's see. Oh, not that many. Okay. So this so the, the attraction. I want to look at the attraction one. Sorry. Oh. Somebody had said they had the twenty-five in their attraction. I kind of want to look at that. It was yeah. up, up more. It was like the next one we were gonna do. Okay. Oh yeah, you passed it. There. there and this okay. this doesn't have the lines though. Oh maybe. Yeah. Okay, here it does. Or is this another one? Or is this the same one? Oh, it's probably yeah. the same one. When I see the 25 in there. Yeah, let's speak to us about the 24 in the attraction. <laughs> 25 in the attraction, yeah. I, uh, okay, so what I, what I feel, because I have the 25 in my north node, um, with relationships, we have fourth line, which is love, which is community, which is a relationship, right? And it's transpersonal. I feel that, can you accept can you accept your partner? Can you accept who you're attracting? Can you accept yourself? Can like what's happening in that realm? Like, where do you feel that constriction? Like what, what prevents you from having that romance and having, having that in your relationship? What are you seeing show up for you in that, in that attraction sphere with your, because also you have your SQ is 44. So all of your relationships are for you. They're meant for you. They're part of your fractal line. They're unlocking something in your heart. Your heart is, is calling out these people to help you come into more acceptance of them, of yourself, to feel that belonging with another and with community. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm seeing there a lot around acceptance do you or do you feel constriction or or limitation do you feel like you're stuck in in a box with this other person like your mind might go to like where where are we limited in 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 our relationship i feel like as well with that fourth line attraction like there's a lot like off on or off it's cold or it's warm and with those fourth line radiance and purpose and then it's a fourth line culture a fourth line iq uh it's in SQ as well, it's almost like it's on or off, and and to see what does it mean to be cold in the fourth line and constricted in the twenty five in that attraction, then nothing can come in, and it's almost like with that core wound of the fifties, like is it data corruption that keeps the gates closed, or is it you know is it truth? Is there maybe needed some letting go, some forgiveness? some letting go of blame and guilt in order to be able to open those four, four, four lines, fourth line again, so that you don't get maybe stuck in confusion or data corruption that doesn't allow you to open that heart that wants to open in so many places, or maybe deafness, you know, deafness, doubt, or, or data corruption could make you not being able to live with a completely open heart, but somehow numb down. And that's just important, I feel, to look if you're feeling cold, what are the reasons and what is the possibility to come back to softness and gentleness and be able to open and accept again? And the purpose, the purpose of your relationships are to feel that adventure and that boundlessness. You're not supposed to feel that constriction and that limitation and the disharmony. You're supposed to feel the possibility, the endless possibility that is available to you there. So when you can come into that adventure and be like, I have uncharted territory here. This is exciting. I don't need to run away from this. I don't need to change it. I don't need to, to leave this. I can stay here and find that adventure within the relationship. I can feel that acceptance, that love in there, like searching. I feel like that's what you're looking for in the relationship is like, how can I feel that love? I don't feel that love. Yeah, of course, you're not going to feel unconditional love in relationships. It's not here. You have to create as close of it as you can, and you're you're a player in in this game too. You're not you're not a victim of of oh they're not giving me unconditional love, you know, or or I need to numb out I need to numb out my heart because I'm not feeling it. You need to be open and accepting to everyone that you're attracting, and it's not going to just oh my god I'm feeling unconditional love. This is fucking amazing. It's going to be like little steps like that nine point one simplicity and putting effort into the small steps like the little details you're not gonna it's not gonna be like flood I mean yeah it could flood but I'm just saying with your pearl being 9.1 I feel like 
you got to commit to it. You got to commit to the relationship and then you got to put little steps towards it. And that's where the truth of it will all be revealed to you. And then you're not going to doubt, should I stay? Should I go? Should I, whatever it is, because I feel like with the 35 and the five, there's, they just want experience all over the place. I want to feel that adventure. I'm not feeling it here. And it is important for you to be around people that, um, like, community is what's going to determine are you feeling like optimal radiance optimal health are you feeling that because it is important to know who you surround yourself with um so yeah and again that two four theme like fulfill yourself because you're not going to find it you're not going to find the warmth outside yourself that's not in you that's just that's the mirroring of the second line it's really going to come from you and then it's going to be attracted by by resonance by by reflection so important again fulfill yourself first and then a lot of your fourth line are automatically going to be able to open up and 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 become warm instead of cold mm -hmm. And then is it here? No, we don't. Yeah. In the, oh, okay. I need to say something about this <laughs> because the IQ probably. I have this here, and for me, having the twenty-five six in your IQ, and also you are five one, so you have that mental. You know, you you have you have a lot of mental. Uh, the way you are here to see the big picture, to find solutions, to be objective, and it's it can be a blessing or a curse. And I really feel like the twenty five six in the IQ is a blessing or a curse. It's also the gene key that comes before the seventeen in the rape mandala. So you are here to have opinions, and that's also probably this thing with the 40, 47, 22 in the life's work and evolution. Um, what can I say about it? I mean, it feels like it's also, it's hard to spe speak tangibly about it because you have like the love of the spirit in your mind. <laughs> so it, it's this perfect combination of a mind that is both fueled by, by love and spirit and by our objectivity. And if you can see the world through love and acceptance and objectivity, that is really what can, what can make your experience here amazing but also if everybody was going to look at the world through the eyes of love acceptance and objectivity it also would be no wars here anymore and that is the power of the 25 the universal love to come and just and just end with all these things um so yeah i feel can you say something more down to earth about this this chart Ashley? um it's curious that that they're five one and they have twenty two and forty seven in there. And to be a five one, we have to be vulnerable. It's important to have vulnerability. And so you can't feel like I need to shield my emotions because you have your EQ twenty six point five, and don't let pride get in the way of really investigating those emotions. You emotions are valuable, and you're here to investigate those because that's what's also going to allow you to to see the world through love and through the acceptance of all parts of you, which include your emotions. Your emotions have, have value. And in order for you to have that impact, you're here to, to, to investigate, you know, that, that realm as well. So they're not, they're not a hindrance. They're not something, you're not a victim of your emotions and um, you can let your walls down. You can let your guard down. You can be the leader, but still be, um, human like you can show people that you have you have flaws you have things that you're working on and that's what makes it you a beautiful teacher you know so go into that and allow yourself to to be there because um, you're here I mean there's a lot of six lines and fifth there's a lot of fifth lines like I see the six line in the attraction and the IQ like the way that the mind works but there's tons of fifth lines so like it doesn't matter what pe who people expect you to be just be yourself find a way to figure out who am i instead of feeding into the projections of this person needs to be a leader this person needs to do this and show up this way too much projection and um that's just gonna be your your downfall yeah i feel like there's magic with the 2247 but also 555 in the pearl 111 in the radiance 
And it's, I would say with that 25, six, because it's innocent and in a way that the world doesn't, if you look at the world, you can't be that innocent, but the 25, six is that, and the 11 is also about ideals. So to me, it's like be grounded in your own idealism. It doesn't matter if people tell you that it's naive or stupid or, you know, it's, it's really, because you are here to, you're here, your, your fuel, the core, the vocation, what you you know, what fuels your service is that you're breaking out of corruption. So your idealism, it's part of your grounding. It's part of what you're here to be. That's how you're the heretic. So there is something powerful. There's something very powerful with this chart, with those, with, with those magical numbers and, and this activation sequence, these four keys, I feel. Yeah. And even being able to kind of anticipate the future through how you feel the world in that attraction, through what you attract when you are in, in resonance with that 41.6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have time with one more? What do you say? What do you, how do you feel, Ashley? Last one? Last one. <laughs> Last one. So maybe we should do somebody, here's somebody's daughter. Let's do, let's do Lena. I love it when I see the eight because I'm just I just feel like you're here to be yourself you're here to blaze your own trail you're here to be your unique self and to find that out and and your attraction I mean vitality you're here to feel that in relationships you're here to be yourself and not it's just <laughs> accept and love yourself I can't say that enough about the 25 it's just accept and love yourself for who you are and that's going to unlock that vitality in your relationship it's going to unlock the power um, of your voice too that 12 just has so much power within that i feel it's either going to cut you or it's going to empower you and so when you're feeling empowered when you feel like you love yourself that's like the vibration that's coming out it's coming out of your heart through your your voice and you're showing you know your true colors and you're being able to express that to the world so don't put up this facade of who you are with that 20 like be present in the present be yourself have self-assurance self-assurance in who you are i don't know the 20 and the 8 and the 25 i'm just like be be who you are be strong in that and you're not here to compare or compete like you have your own trail to blaze and and, and you're here to guide yourself. Like that 7.5, this is the second person that had the seven in their IQ. So, right. And you know, I when I see that seven IQ and the 31 EQ, I know that this person has that channel between the throat and the G. So I know that it's somebody who has a defined G. And look at the definition of this G. We have, we have the 15, the 10, the 25, the 46. We also have the second in the culture. We have the seven. You know, there is so much like who are you, you know, who you are, that what you're here to your direction and you know, love knowing what love is. It's like that is so much what, what the journey is about for you. And it's such a powerful G center. Like your life revolves around that G center and it both has that um, energy of the healer because it's the cross of the and of the vessel of love and and it has that leadership the seven five the seven sorry the seven thirty one and the five it fifth line it's a very powerful leadership theme so I yeah I this is a this is a powerful it's a powerful G center <laughs> chart uh, for sure and like you say Ashley it's like in the in the world you're here to be to be who you are and to be in flow in the moment and to be that feminine feminine spokesperson almost with that two four in your in your culture to follow your intuition and to speak that from your heart and that is how you that is how you create create in the world that's what you share with the world yeah, it's awesome. yeah. and also always surrounded by people that can 
see the same vision as you do because you are going to be a visionary with that G with that seven with a 31 you are going to see where we're going to make to so make sure that you have people community friends that are looking that at least you know help you nurture that vision and what you know is possible and and so that you can feel like you can be grounded in your in who you are because you are also supported by the community and your loved ones Yeah, are we done? I mean, I could go on forever, but at some point <laughs> we have to be like, do you want to do one more? I kind of want to do one more. <laughs> okay, let's do now. See. One more. Okay, three five. That's good. This is the first three five that we are looking at. And we have some similar, I mean, both the activation sequence is similar. We have the 19 again, we have the 42 3 again. And this one has also the 10 in the EQ. I can say something about the three five. So you're here to, to live light, to say, I throw consistency out of the window and I'm dynamic. It doesn't mean I can't commit, but it's going to look in different ways for me throughout my life. And I'm going to do things wholeheartedly. I'm not going to engage if it's just for probably, I'm, I'm going to do things where I can feel wholeheartedly. And I'm going to let people know that I, that I have this fire inside of me and that I'm not like everybody else. And when you can break out of the need for attention or approval and do things without an agenda, that's when you can tap into your true leadership. Because that takes away a lot of the anxiety of having to fit in a certain way. That's when you can tap into your true leadership, which has to do with that 25, the universal love, and the light of the, of the 46, and maybe somehow being a spokesperson for the kind of vitality, the kind of ecstasy. How do we ground into the, the 46 and the 25? And that is what you are here to share with the world. And that's what you're here to vibrate as well. So that's how I would see this activation sequence in a 3-5 profile uh, expression. Hmm. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of family, a lot of family dynamics that kind of shape the beliefs and the ideas of like how to be in a relationship. And because she has the 32, which is, I just see a lot of like traditions and like, what are you carrying on? What are you learning from your family? And then you have the 59. So was there transparency in the family? How are you seeing relationships? How is that shown to you? And then were you allowed to be your full expression in your emotions? And were you able to speak from the heart or did you have to meet the expectations of others? You have the same attraction sphere as my son, 42.3, the same exact one. And did you feel shame for who you are? Were you trying to meet the expectations of other people? Because you were so sensitive, because you do have the 19.1. Um, so there is that sensitivity. So did you constrict your yourself, your life force, who you were to meet the expectations of others? Were you able to not be transparent with who you were? Um, because your full expression is to have complete transparency, to be who you are, to speak from the heart, and um, to kind of also like let go of your idea of like what's failure, what's success, what's failure in a relationship, what's success in a relationship, what do I want to carry on, what did I learn from my family, what am I, what am I, what what am I pulling towards the future, and what am I letting go? Like, thank you for teaching that to me, but I'm going to put this down and I'm not going to carry that on. And I'm going to be who I need to be. Right. So there's, I mean, there's a lot of shame in, in, in the, in the profile that can show up in the attraction and then the life's work and the evolution. And it's just about connecting into your inner power. Um, yeah. And also I would say like, we have again a six line IQ, so not going to the objectivity. Oh, it's okay. I just have to deal with it on the inside. You know, it's it's there's something where you actually are here to to not become aloof and be objective about things and kind of just let it be. You're you're really here to be your nature. And in in human design, in the fifth line of the twenty five, we speak about even having your health compromised if you aren't living. Your living out your nature. So we really want you to live out your nature and, and celebrate life in the way that you would celebrate it and find the connections and the intimacy, intimacy the way that you want to live it. Because for you, it's so important. Your leadership comes from you being who you are in this world and not, like Ashley was saying, not listening too much to, to the other things, but you deciding what are you going to nurture? What are you going to preserve? What are the things that you want to keep? 
and all the other things, you don't have to keep them. And actually even how you would work in your culture, you're gonna work one-to-one -one with people. So you can also like choose kind of who you, who you mirror and there's gonna be, it's gonna be based on your structure somehow. So there is so much possibility for you to, to create a life that is, that is supporting your leadership, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Do we have any closing words for this activation sequence or, or do we feel like? No, this is just us illuminating the archetype within you. So you could see that there's a lot of people that or charts that we read that had similar activation sequence, had similar geometry going on in there, even similar like lines. And I think that it's just important for us to, to, I don't know, investigate these archetypes individually, but also know that it's, we're not just focusing on one thing. We have to weave it throughout. You can't just be like, oh, I have it in my evolution and let's just look at that. It's, it's definitely woven between all the other archetypes because that creates the tapestry of you is, is a combination of the archetypes together. So investigating that and weaving that through, we're kind of just demonstrating and modeling how you would weave it together because you have to look at the whole profile. You have to look at the whole design to really understand its capability and possibility there. So that's what the illuminated archetype is about is who is it individually, but then who is it together? And that's kind of how life is too. It's not just about like who you are individually. It's like, how do you work in with others? Right. How, yeah. how do you all come together to create something? So, and that, you know, that the step, if one is step one is understanding the archetype, step two is weaving it. Step three would be if we were in interaction with you and we had your life experience to weave that in. So under, weaving understanding together with the whole profile and then together with the life experience, that's when you get the whole picture and you have, you have the possibility to do all that. And that's the kind of, that's the way that we look at the charts to really see what is this blueprint? How is this lived out? So it's kind of just a little, little inspiration on the way, I guess, for everybody to be able to start doing that through your own charts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much for posting your charts and being um, letting us into your lives because, I mean, these charts are very, <laughs> they just show everything. It's awesome. So thank you again for sharing your charts and your lives and yourself with us we really appreciate it and we accept you for who you are mm -hmm. thank you everybody <laughs> thank you.